What's up everybody? This is Alexander Rubian with the New Jersey Second Amendment Society. We just wanted to give you an update on what we've been working on and the progress that's been made for the state of New Jersey. Last week, Congressman Tom MacArthur's office called us up to let us know that he will be the first New Jersey congressman to sign on as a co-sponsor for H.R. 38. This was paramount and this was instrumental for us because now we've been able to contact other congresspeople throughout the state of New Jersey and try to get them and urge them to jump on board as sponsors. It's important that members of the organization reach out to members of Congress and now the members of Senate to tell them about our concerns. One of the biggest things that we found when we were in DC speaking with the staff members and the Congress people face to face is they do, have, they do not know the terror that we deal with every single day in the state of New Jersey. And this is important because when they're crafting legislation, what typically happens is they craft it coming from best case scenario where they don't understand or know what's going on in the state of New Jersey, where they should be crafting legislation coming from worst case scenario to try to alleviate and fix the issues that are happening in our state because obviously our New Jersey legislator have no interest in fixing our draconian system. If anything, they're actually championing, I'm sorry, in campaigning to make it even worse than what it already is. And that's why it was important when we went down to DC to talk to you know, Congress people, some senators, as well as a lot of the, of the staff that were working on crafting the language that they actually understand what actually happens in our state. Uh, it was actually interesting because many times we would describe something and nobody would believe us. And then we would say, well, here's the news article. Here's this story. Here's this story. Here's, here's this story. And talking about example after example, not theory, not hyperbole, but actual case examples of people that have become victims to the crazy system that we have in New Jersey that you know, many legislators from our state actually bo boast as being something that should become a national model. That's why it's instrumental that when New Jerseyans stand up, we channel that energy to the right people so that they create, create and craft laws that are going to help protect us as well as outsiders from other states that come to New Jersey that exercise their right in a majority of normal America. So we want to commend uh, Congressman Tom MacArthur for his leadership to recognizing this and standing up and signing on as New Jersey's first um, congressman as a co-sponsor for H.R. 38. Uh, we also uh, saw that it's a companion bill has been introduced on the Senate side as the lead sponsor is Senator uh, um, uh, Cornyn. Now, uh, there's been a lot of feed, uh, feedback out there. There's been a lot of people giving criticism on the, on the bill. Uh, we got a copy of the actual language. You know, and once again, we have a lot of concerns because they're crafting this legislation off of best case scenario on what all the good states do. And as we've learned when we went down to Washington, D.C. to talk with these legislators, you know, they don't believe the things that we go through and the terror we live in every single day as gun owners. So that's why it's instrumental now that we go to uh, Senator Cornyn's office and talk about these issues, talk about what's going on in New Jersey, and explain why the, the amendments and the changes we got into H.R. 38, as well as the additional ones that are going to be proposed, uh, are, are instrumental as well as being the fundamental basis of the Senate Companion Bill. Because the last thing we want is to get a law that's going to be passed that doesn't help New Jerseyans. And that's what we're actively fighting for every single day. Uh, the Senate Companion Bill, at first look, it does unwind a lot of things that we as New Jerseyans and as the New Jersey Second Amendment Society fought very hard to make sure that we're included. Um, and listen, once again, this is a classic example. New Jersey gets thrown under, under the bus while other states reap benefits, and we are used as the poster child of why you, know, you should never um, have any additional laws and you should not have specific things put into legislation. But we're changing that narrative. We're making sure that New Jersey is used as a case example of why specific legislation on the federal level should be put in. Um, once again, it should always be crafted on worst case scenario. Look at what the worst states are doing and how they are making victims out of people that want to do nothing more than exercise their fundamental human and constitutional right. Uh, the Senate had an opportunity to address this and to stand up against the, disc the blatant discrimination we deal with every single day as New Jerseyans. 
Every single day, every single week, we hear horror stories from people that are applying for a firearm identification card and waiting months, three months, six months. One individual sent us a letter the other day that since 2014, this individual has been waiting for his permit just to be able to purchase a firearm. And that's the kind of terror and the discrimination we deal with every single day. And we need to make sure that you guys make sure the nation knows of the terror that we deal with, the stories that are being said, and that we get this fixed on the federal level because New Jersey's legislators made it very clear they have no interest in fixing these issues. Only thing they wanna do is make it worse. So I'm asking everyone to share our stories, to share what goes on in New Jersey. Share this video on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, just so that people understand that if you give them an inch, they will take not a mile, but a hundred miles when it comes to the, you know, the, the way they want to infringe on our rights. Um, we're going to fight vigorously on the Senate side. It's uh, the language is uh, still going to be, uh, it's still not posted on the congressional website. However, we got a copy of it. Uh, we reviewed it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of gray area there that it does not help New Jerseyans. Um, so we're going to reach out to Senator Cornyn's office. We're working with some of his staff members now uh, to make sure that things are added specifically in there so that New Jersey becomes a state that we can exercise our fundamental basic rights. Uh, we also want you guys to share your stories with us with hashtag NJ2AS when you're posting anything on social media. Make sure you tag um, the senators and the Congress people that are sponsoring these bills, specifically the main sponsors. You know, hashed, you know, we, 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 sorry, we already checked. Senator Cornyn already has social media. He's up there. Uh, Congressman Hudson, you know, we want to thank him for his leadership because he proposed and pushed forward a bill that would be a game changer for New Jersey that addresses all the issues that New Jerseyans deal with on, every, on a daily basis and the terror we have to leave, uh, live in. Um, so wrapping up, just, um, you know, we want to let everyone know we're fighting for this. We want to fight for New Jerseyans' rights uh, to make sure that we can exercise our rights on the state level as well as on the national level. And we also want to make sure that people that do come to our state have the ability to protect themselves um, with what standard features they might have under firearms in their home states. That's also a critical language that Congressman Hudson included in his legislation uh, and was uh, made sure that people that might come into our state with something that may be legal in their home state is illegal in New Jersey and you know, suddenly they be, they're serving up to 10 years in prison because of it. So uh, just join us on social media. Uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, we just wrapped up a, our, our February gun giveaway. It was very successful. Uh, the money that we uh, fundraise off of that is going towards fighting for the cause. We wanna thank Howell Gunworks in Howell, New Jersey. They have an amazing facility. Go check them out. They're a proud sponsor. And whenever we need something, they're there for us. They have a phenomenal um, inventory. They have great selection of different types of firearms, as well as a huge selection of ammunition of things that you cannot typically find in any other store. Uh, and they have a master gunsmith on staff as well. Uh, he's personally worked on some of my stuff and I'm just blown away at the quality of the work that they've done for us. So I want to thank Howl Gunworks for the February gun giveaway. They donated a Ruger um, um, uh, handgun to us, which um, you know many people signed up on. We're picking the winner tonight. We're going to announce that uh, tomorrow the day after. And um, you know, once again, just join us on Facebook, join us on Twitter, join us on YouTube. It's important, it's paramount that we make sure our story is heard. We want to make sure that every senator and every congressman in Washington, D.C. knows about the terror and the discrimination that we deal with every day. If you go to our YouTube channel and you go to our Facebook and Twitter, you can see all the undercover videos that we've posted and explicitly having uh, government agents discriminating, telling people we'll do the permits when we feel like it, telling one woman she was too small to own a gun and not even allowing her the ability to apply. I mean, the terror and the discrimination goes on and on and on. And uh, you know that's what we're fighting for. This is our opportunity. Let me emphasize, many people have become very uh, complacent ever since uh, President Trump was elected. And I've seen a, a kind of a different tone talking to people 
uh, different attitude. Now, this is not our time to sit back and relax. This is our time to strike. This is our time to fight back and take back what was stolen from us and make sure that it never happens again. And that's why we want to make sure this is paramount. We want to make sure that this is front and center with every congressman, every senator, so that the first thing they wake up every morning to is thinking about how they're going to help New Jersey. And the last thing they think about when they go to bed is how they're going to help New Jersey. Thank you again for all your support and help.